What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at my digital lighting background bundle that I just dropped on my store. It's currently available for $20. This bundle will be updated in the future and I'll be adding new scenes and it will stay the exact same price. So if you have purchased it, uh, you can always just come back and re-download the new version. This is currently version one. I'm hoping to add a lot more to it. So if you do download it, make sure to join the Discord for any future updates. So yeah, let's get into it. So once you have downloaded the file, you'll see there is another folder which includes um, a free t-shirt that I've included. So if you haven't got any of the other stuff off my store, this will be a great start. Um, and then it's got a backdrop OBJ. Then we'll have our Blender file. Make sure to download Blender, it's totally free to use. Um, from there, once you have downloaded, you can open this up. Once it's opened up, you'll see something like this. I'm just gonna enable the shader preview uh, so that we can see the materials. You'll see that this first scene, scene 001, um, has your backlight frame, your two frames, your side light and water, which is this down here. Now for this first scene, I have animated a bit so you can see that there is some water moving and then the camera uh, is just a camera that's default for all of the scenes, uh, which goes a little bit forward. Make sure to check out my other videos to see how you can um, animate your cameras and make adjustments there. I'm just gonna run you through the entire bundle so you can see what you're getting if you do purchase it. So yeah, so this is scene one. All you have to do is basically, if you wanna add a new product in, you can just go file, import OBJ, and then look for the product that you wanna import. So I'm just gonna quickly maybe add this hoodie. <clears throat> so we're gonna to go to an import. And then once you've imported, you can put it in your products folder here and just hide the t-shirt. And just like that, you now have your new product in there. So that's how you want to import other ones. Um, but for now, we're going to work with the t-shirt. So once you have your product imported, or if you're going to use this t-shirt, I'm going to take you through how to change the light colors as well as any materials. So for the backlight, which is this first scene, we can go down to our materials, which is the emission over here and just change it like so. We're going to use the color wheel here and you can make it fit your brand however you want. Uh, this is just a really cool way to change the lights. So you can do this with pretty much all the lights. All my lights that I have set up are gonna be, your color is gonna be under emissions and you can just change it like that. You can also adjust intensity. Maybe you don't want it so bright. Maybe you want it brighter. You can adjust that by changing the strengths. So I'm just gonna set it back to 4.2 and change the color back to white by decreasing the hue and saturation. So for scene two, we're gonna reveal that. Make sure when you are rendering a scene, uh, that you have both the eye and the camera selected also it's obviously not going to render it out uh, so for scene two you can see it's a basic studio setup we got one light on the left one light on the right and then our backdrop now for the backdrop if you want to change the color you can do so by editing the base color just like so um, and then also if you want to add any textures check out my beginner guide on how to set up materials with textures um, it's really super simple and easy way to do that. So yeah, I'm going to set my colors to maybe like a little bit of a yellow to fit my brand. And then for the studio lights, we're going to go into our preview here on the left side, just by using our middle mouse. And then you can see there's two lights here. So that's your right light. And then this is your left light. So you can just increase the power like that by going to our light settings over here and we can do that for both sections. The other way that you can find this is if you go into your studio setup 001 and look for your light. So your lights will mainly be where this light icon is shown. You can just click on that, go to your light and either adjust the color or the intensity and take it from there. I'm just gonna press control Z to go back. I'm gonna run through the rest of the scenes really quickly just so you can see what they will look like. Here is our scene three. We got a four light setup with the backdrop. Our scene four is very similar. It's just some extra lights, almost all the way around the object. Then for our scene five, we have a top down light and a bottom light. And like I said, if you want to change any of the materials, you can just click on the object you want to change, go to your material tab, and then you can select a material or change the color. I'd be like for scene six, we have a ring light on the top and both bottom. For our scene seven, we have this glass structure 
with some lots in the middle. For scene eight, we have a very minimal look. It's just basically the t-shirt in a wall. For scene 10, once again, there's tube lights. We just don't have that front light just to create some contrast. Scene eight, another studio setup. So just a little bit different. Scene 11, I've added this glass across here that's a little bit rigid, uh, just to create some contrast between the textures. And then we have a side, two side lights. For scene 12, we have a backlight. I really like this one. If you wanna change the shape of the backlight, all you gotta do is click on the backlight over here and you can go to your shape on the right and hit rectangle. You can also press S to scale it. Then for scene 13, we have some more tube lights. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want to change the lights, you can just click on one of them, go to your tube lights. Now, one thing I must mention is when you changing any of these materials, make sure to duplicate them or else you're going to change all of the lights. So I'm going to just duplicate it right here. And then we're going to go into our surface color and maybe make it blue. And then we can get a little bit of blue light coming through here and we can even bring this down just so we can see that that blue coming through the tube a bit more and then if you want to go back to the white you can just go to tube light and you'll be back to good then for scene 14 we have this really cool open studio with some top and bottom lighting and then for rendering um, i do suggest rendering at a higher sample rate although it will take a lot longer you can do still frames animation whatever you want but due to the low light capabilities, I would suggest pushing this to anywhere above 300, you're good. And if you want to render your image, you just go render image and it'll begin re rendering one frame for you. And if you want to render animation, you can, you can go down to our output settings here. We're going to change this file format to FFmpeg video. Go to your encoding. There's a little preset tab here and make sure it's H.264 and MP4. And then when you hit render animation, should start to render frame by frame. Depending on your PC or laptop, it might take a while. I normally do these overnight just, just to not waste too much time or check out my Garage Farm render video explaining how you can use Garage Farm to speed up your renders. It's a great product. That's pretty much a little run through of my new lighting and backdrop bundle that I have available on my store. Like I said, I will be updating it as well as all my other products. So make sure to check them out if you haven't already. Join the Discord if you need any help and I appreciate the support as always, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.